Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike. And I'm Nelly. We are Miami-based travel vloggers and today we're going to be guest vlogging for EF. We've been living in Miami for over three years and we know Miami can be really expensive. That's why... Today we're going to show you Miami Beach on a budget. So today we're going to talk about a few topics in this video like how to save money, how to get around in Miami. That timing. <laughs> Not only are we going to show you how to get around Miami on a budget, but we will also show you a few fun and inexpensive activities in and around town. Miami Beach is amazing to explore on a skateboard, but if you don't skate, there are also a lot of other opportunities to get around. City bikes are a great option. They're inexpensive, they're flexible, you can pick them up at one station and return them at another station. And then there's the Miami Beach trolley that will take you around town for free. Just hop on and off wherever you need to go. Not in the mood for public transportation? Well, Uber has an option that's called Uber Pool or Uber Pool Express. Much cheaper than Uber X and just as comfortable. So let's get to the inexpensive activities. And number one on that list just has to be strolling along the beach and going for a dip in the refreshing water. Want to stay in shape while you're in Miami? Well, Muscle Beach has you covered with jungle gym, weights, and like-minded people. And if you need something a little bit more relaxing, then head on over to the free yoga classes every morning at 3rd Street Beach Yoga. Alternatively, you could just go for a run and enjoy the sunrise at South Point Pier. This spot is also great for sunsets as you have a great view of downtown Miami and the harbor. So when you're in Miami, don't just stick to Miami Beach. Try and check out the neighborhoods on the mainland as well. Right now we're in Wynwood. Wynwood is a very artsy neighborhood with a lot of galleries and murals all over the walls. There are some guided art walks, but you can just go out and yourself, check out the beautiful murals, look them up online, try to read up on the artists. It's really a lot of fun. Be sure to take with a sun umbrella or something because Wynwood gets really hot. There's a ton of small little artsy shops, coffee shops and restaurants that you can try in Wynwood, so take your time. When it comes to eating out on a budget in Miami Beach, Happy Hour is the name of the game. Just check online which restaurants around you have happy hours. We're standing outside of Bodega, one of our favorite taco places in Miami Beach. They usually have their happy hour. $2 tacos, $4 salsa with chips, $4 guacamoles with chips. You get really full on that stuff. Also, groceries can be expensive in Miami. The solution, small little Cuban shops and Cuban markets that'll sell you food way cheaper. They even have pre-prepared meals that are really tasty, fresh, and delicious. Okay, as, as we already mentioned, Miami can be really expensive. So make sure to check out the neighborhood spots. One of our neighborhood spots is Go Go Fresh, where we get our daily healthy salads. They have amazing soups. They have the best empanadas here. And the price value is just amazing. Another great tip are resources that I actually look up for food recommendations. And uh, one of them is Miami Eater. Um, the other one is Miami New Times Food and Drink. And there is a website for Miami um, on a budget. It's called MiamiOnTheCheap.com where you can find some really good information and things to do in and around Miami as well. So all in all, Miami is an absolutely beautiful place to hang out, but be careful. The weather can actually turn within a second. I want to say thank you to EF for having us as guest vloggers on their channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your stay in Miami Beach and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.